Tonight, we welcome to the CBS Miami studios Dr. Gilberto Loves, Chief of the Division of Medical Oncology at the Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center. Uh, there's a lot we don't know, doctor, about what she has been diagnosed with in terms of this specific type of cancer. But reading between the lines what she said about being preventative and all that, what do you make of where things stand with her? First of all, thank you for having me here tonight. It is always important that we talk to our community about cancer. Cancer is a disease that affects not just the individual that has it, but also their family members mm -hmm. and their community. And it is a disease that involves all of us. We hear from Kate, from the Princess of Wales, that she had surgery and now she's doing chemotherapy to try to prevent the disease from coming back. And this is something that we see with a lot of our patients. Cancer is a disease that tries to come back. It is a disease that has its, in, in its nature to come back and to spread to different organs. So for many different types of cancer, and we don't know exactly what type of cancer Princess Catherine has, we can use chemotherapy and sometimes different types of treatment like hormones or immunotherapies to try to prevent the disease from coming back. And this is a treatment that can take its toll, it can cause side effects, mm -hmm. it can't start right away, you need to recover from surgery before you can do it. And this is certainly something that we hope that she will recover and of course our thoughts and prayers are with her, with her family, and with her kids. Mm -hmm. Something I find really interesting here is that when she had the abdominal surgery, she went in saying it was non-cancerous and that her doctors told her that it was non-cancerous, but then after the surgery, after further research, they did find cancer. So can you explain the progression? How does that happen? Absolutely. That's one of the most important things and difficult things that people living with cancer have to deal with. And it's the uncertainty that we have. It's difficult when you start feeling that something is wrong until we get an imaging study and then you find something, a mass, a tumor, a nodule. You need to get a biopsy to find out what that is. And as you move through that process, there's a wait. It's weeks, sometimes maybe a month, from the moment you fell sick to the moment mm -hmm. you hear you have cancer. And at that moment that you hear you have cancer, your world completely disappears. Everything becomes dark. And that's when you need to trust your healthcare providers, your doctors, and those people in your family that will be helping you. Because this is not something anybody should have to go through alone. Yeah. That uncertainty is something that patients with cancer have to live with. And sometimes you go in thinking what you have is a cyst, if it's, let's say, in the ovaries. And at the end of the process, when about a week later, after you had that procedure, had the pathology results, which is the doctor looking under the microscope and checking exactly what that mass, what that tumor, what that lesion was, then sometimes you get surprises. The good thing about surprises is that usually those tumors are small, so we can try to prevent them from coming back. Yeah. It seems to be that Princess Kate has an early cancer, so preventative chemotherapy, which we call adjuvant chemotherapy, are treatments that we give to try to prevent the disease from coming in. Could be anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. Yeah. We've heard, uh, of course, obviously, when you hear that word cancer, uh, certainly it, it hits you psychologically like a gut punch. And many people have viewed it as a, as a death sentence, but you're in this area and you know that's not the case, right? That's absolutely right. And it affects even those of us that do this every day. When I was with my dad, when he had his colonoscopy and he found a colon cancer, you stop being the doctor, you become the son, and then everything becomes muddy and you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. But we have advanced tremendously on what we can do today. We have a number of cancers that can be treated and can be cured. So cancer today is absolutely not a death sentence. We need people to realize that there are things that we can do to prevent the disease, to find it early, and certainly we can fight it every day. Dr. Gilberto Lopes, thank you so much for offering us that uh, glimmer of hope and, and sharing your expertise with us tonight. My pleasure. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, we very enlightening. We really appreciate you being yeah. here so late as well. <laughs> thank you. Thanks much.